Hey, it's Nicholas back again today. We're back with Tiny Core 4.1. Now, remember the last video I done, I showed you how to remaster Tiny Core. That was pretty simply easy, wasn't it? Easy, easy, and easy to. Now, this time I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, many moons ago, it was a CLI installer, no GUI. Then, not too long ago, we got a bit of a GLI installer, or sorry, GUI installer, should I say. God, tongue twisted again today. Anyway, let's get down to it. What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to install it to your hard drive. Yeah, how to install it. It's really easy. Now, I've got this one running as a save file, so it's all on one hard drive. But if I go down to here, my mounty thing, you can see I've got another partition there, SDA1. Okay, SDA2 is what I'm running from now. And SRO is the disk. Oh, yes, because we need the disk, baby, to install it, don't we? So I'm going to mount SDA1. So click there, so that's all good, look, you clicked, you clicked, all done. Now if we go down here, right to the very bottom, you will find TC Grub for DOS, which we will be using very shortly, and TC Install, or Tiny Core Install, or Tiny Core even, if I could talk properly today, it'd be even easier, wouldn't it? Yes, jolly good. Okay, so we're going to click the installer, and here we are. Now, we want to do a Tiny Core Install, oh, hang on, I forgot to do something now. We want to use existing partitions. And tiny core. Now we want to find our disk first. Don't we? So if we go to mount, double click it. SR0 is the one you want. Click again, boot, and tiny core GZ. I like that. And OK it. So that's that, isn't it? Okay. Now what am I missing there? Something, aren't I? Okay. So this for it or existing partition? Existing partition is what we want. So we want it to go to SDA1, don't we? Yes, we do. There we go. SDA1. Mark partition as bootable. Yeah, go on. Blah, yeah. That will do. We go forward. Now, I've already formatted it to EXT3, so I don't need to do that anymore, do I? So I'll go forward again. Right, in here, you can put some boot options. Where to get directories from, blah de blah de blah, turn off automatic restore, the size of the screen, etc, etc, etc. But I'm not going to do that. So anyway, next. So the source is mouse, SRO, it's bootable, tiny core, GZ, through SDA1, active partition, none, proceed. So if we click proceed, okay, wait for it to do that. I'm going to have a bit of drinkage of water, because it's nice and early today. I think it's about quarter to 11. Uh -uh -uh. Very waterish. So it goes through the busy bops. So we waity and we waity and we waity. The installation has completed. That is basically it. Bearing in mind it's just a basic tiny core here, okay? So we'll come out of there. Now there's no good if we ain't got a bootloader, is it? So we're gonna use Grub for DOS. So tiny core. Now where is it? Now think about it, where is it? Mount. It's on SDA1. Double click that. Boot. Tiny Core GZ. That's the baby. Okay. Right. SDA1 again. We go forward. We don't want to do that anymore. We don't want to do that. And we're going to proceed. That just takes a couple more minutes or seconds, even really. There we go. For DOS using bootlist.com on dev SDA. Uh -uh -uh. And apparently it's a success. So we just keep waiting because we've got our little clocky thing there doing the working. Okay. There we wait. Let me wait. Installation has completed. That is all you have to do. Right. Do you want me to prove it to you? Yeah, we'll do. We'll get back to you in just in one goddamn minute. Sneaky links back in a bit. Ah, you're know, back again. Look, right, it's our Grub for DOS screen in Tiny Core Linux. Yes, that was the install successful. So we're booting it into the screen now, as you'll see in a second. Go through loading extensions, blah, -de -blah, -de -blah, -de blah. I must admit, though, doing this sort of install takes a bit longer than the other one, okay? Don't ask me why, it just does. 
So it loads out extensions. That's not the fastest in the world, but it is installed. So it's super duper. Right. Will we get our screen up? Yes, we will. Look at it. Room of our installed tiny core. Yes, we just installed that. And how super duper was that? Just to show you, I'm going to our mount section again. We're doing it from SDA1. Right. The other partition I was using before was SDA2. That was just a frugal one, okay? Just a frugal running from disk. And there's our disk there. Super duper. So this is a fully installed Tiny Core 4.1 system. Okay, just to prove again, if I go to exit, when it shuts down there, it backs up everything to SDA1 TCE. Yeah, TCE. Basically, it means you've got an installed Tiny Core system, and now you can go and do whatever you like with Tiny Core. Just so bloody easy, isn't it? You know what? It's so easy. It used to be quite hard. Now it's easy for anybody. You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to change the wallpaper again. Look. I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to go like that, and we're going to go preview that. Oh, that's lovely. Nice and ready pinky. Spinky, pinky, minky. Lovely. So, yeah, if you want to install Tiny Core, that's how you do it. And it's so easy. Sneaky. Linux going at Asilez. Buzzy bye.